All right, so back to this. Um, yeah, in the previous part, uh, the previous part actually started when we were in the PMC after we had uh, a Tain and came back from um, No Man's Land and Alpha Temple. Um, and that actually triggered an event, so which is why I stopped it before then. And ultimately, the event was basically someone raided Utero Library, and ultimately, the certain someone was looking at Univin word structures. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out who that would be. We're still on Tain there, so we went there, and um, actually, uh, who was it? Gail and Orion were there too, and for whatever reason, they were out of a loop out of the loop apparently when it came to Tain wanting to summon the original dragon. But obviously with the, he did end up finding the name. With the name and the power source he stole from the Alpha Temple, he can literally summon the original dragon right now, like in the game, if he wanted to. And ultimately the original dragon's name is Kira, right? Um, because ultimately the Kyurem obviously is the shell or husk of the original dragon. It's Zekrom and Reshram, which is sort of its essence, but Kyurem is ultimately the husk. And then anything called, any sort of combination with Kyurem is still called Kyurem, right? Kyurem black, Kyurem white. So and it would make sense that the original dragon is just called Kyurem. So I'm not sure if that was implied. That was something that was beyond me, went over my head, went just through me. Like, I didn't get it. I thought, because we, again, we knew it was some, we knew that ultimately, even though the name was lost, given the sort of prefixes of the three dragons, um, not the original dragon, but the three current dragons, that it would be some combination or ultimately whatever they derived from could, you could potentially figure out um, uh, the name of the original dragon or the name of the original dragon could also be derived from that. But it just ended up being Kira. I'm not sure if that's implied. I'll need to go back and look, but obviously before Tain summons the original dragon, um, the game needs to force him to not to, so we're battling him. Um, he could literally say it right now and it'd be summoned. Like, I, he just doesn't because the game can't allow it or else he'd win. So he, he'd succeed, be too overpowered. He literally would succeed at his goal. So I guess that's an L on Rukra's part because Rukra, you know, he moved beyond the... Um, uh, he moved beyond the original dragon. That's court, sort of where him and Tain split, right? That's where they parted ways when Tain was still hung up on the original dragon and Rukra sort of left that behind or he moved beyond that. But ultimately, Tain succeeded in finding the original name and he found an alternate power source besides the crystal. So clearly, uh, he succeeded on that end and he literally just needs to say the name of the dragon and um, it'll appear. So... There's that, um, yeah. We battled in a couple or a few times in the previous part, but um, unfortunately it didn't end up going out well because Gale only has three Pokemon. And once he loses his Pokemon, we can't send in another one on its behalf. So it basically becomes a 2v1. So ultimately, basically we need to win the battle before Gale loses all of his Pokemon or else it's over. I mean, the second time we did it, we literally had all six of our Pokemon, but we still lost because it was a 2v1, so. Yeah, I mean, that's that's just what needs to happen. So, yeah, I mean, so there's that. Let's see. Yeah, and then we're here. Um, ultimately, we're leading off with... I, I swapped to Demix, because initially I led with uh, Sandman. Um, currently with Jackbox, because uh, Brave Bird from his Talonflame would kill. Um, let's see, yeah, Brave Bird from his Talonflame would kill Jackbox. Um, Demon, Dragon Claw kills Demon Cleaver, uh, Flare Blitz, or Brave Bird kill him. Um, Spicy Ice dies Flare Blitz. So yeah, it was either, it was Sandman. And then I actually tried lean off with Cleaver, but the issue being, even if I can Ice Shard the Delta Arcanine or the Town Flame, that Intimidate from the Delta Arcanine is just too crippling. So yeah, I think ultimately it's better to lead off with Demix, because I still, I think he would ultimately be able to take a Brave Bird. I'd like to think he'd be able to take at least one. I may be wrong, but... Yeah, we'll see. I guess if I am wrong, ultimately, we just bank on it not using Brave Bird. So, yeah, there would be that. So, just again, to kind of get that out of the way, I guess. So, but yeah, now we're actually going to um, try and win. And, you know, he could literally summon it right now. He just needs to say, uh, um, uh, Great Tyan of Unova, like, whatever he says to summon it, and then just say Kirim. 
Like he's, it, it's so good. Cause Tane is my favorite character to see that he's like actually succeeding, right? He came closer than any other cult leader, presumably. Like he came closer than Audrey because Audrey got, uh, Audrey got wrecked in the last minute by um, mutated Damien. And that's where we learned that Damien was Audrey's son. Um, and then Zenith got wrecked. Yeah, he can, he learns, I call upon you, great tiny of you of our region. Kirim, Zekrom, and Retro and bound together. Emerge the mighty. And literally just one more word and he'd succeed. One more word and he'd succeed. So he came close to the Nainar cult leader. Again, Audrey got wrecked by uh, mutated Damien. Zenith got wrecked by the Oracle. Persephone's a, a Persephone's a failure. Um, Rukro, we beat him. And um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's like, oh my God. He can literally, he, he, I think that goes to show how good of a character Tane is, that the game literally needs to force him to not succeed in order for, like, us to win. Like, it literally needs to force him to monologue and battle us for him to not win, as opposed to all the art cult leaders, which lost, like, legitimately. So, yeah. Oh, my God. And then we've also battled him literally more. This is our sixth battle with him. We fought him more than any other trainer in the entire region. So... Yeah, we fought more than Nora, fought more than Damien. Um, I think we fought each of them three times. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we fought him more than anyone else. So, uh, yeah, and our plan here, my plan was to use, because hopefully the Azumaro uses uh, Waterfall on Talonflame like it normally does. And then this Aura Sphere can hopefully two-shot the Arcanine. It did use Tailwind. But that's kind of an issue. And then Safeguard. So, I guess, I don't know. There's that. So, or sphere. Wow. And we know he's going to use the four star in the town play. So, wow. Because Sandman's um, earthquake or Sandman's drain punch did around the same amount of damage with Intimidate. So, we know it's going to use, um, we know he's going to use a four star in the town flame. Honestly, I could use Walk Surf and that would kill the uh, town flame. But I think getting that uh, Arcanine down is more important. Yeah, that's why it's like, because his Azumarill is just going to keep trying to kill the Town Flame. So, yeah, I think, yeah, and that Arcanine is starting to Sword Stand. So it's at two times attack. So we just need to kill that thing. And he's actually crit. That's actually really lucky. But yeah, I think regardless, you know, because here's the thing Cleaver can't even kill the, um, not even Cleaver can kill the Delta Arcanine. So wait, what did it use? Play Rough? I don't know. That was, at least it was a crit. But yeah, I think given Cleaver can't even kill, Demix is definitely worth simply due to the Intimidate. And there's um, there's the uh, Metagross. So the Metagross is going to crystallize and it becomes Grass Crystal. So we can't even really touch that. Um, I'm not sure the Azumarill attacks it. Um, so I'm not sure. We can use Surf here. Or, but yeah, I don't know. Should we use Surf? Um, it would split damage. Honestly, we're probably better off just using Psychic. Um, is the Azumarill going to go for the, um, it has, hopefully the Azumarill does go for the, um, Talonflame, simply because it's got super effective moves against it as opposed to, um, Metagross, so, yeah, and it's, uh, crystallizing, so. First time we've seen a crystallized Pokemon, so. I'm not even sure if there are any, because there's only one crystal move, and, you need the crystal fragment in order to do so, so, okay. I guess so it didn't matter what we use. And yeah, but it got some nice recoil damage. I still think lean off with Demix was the best choice. Will always. Okay, but what's, okay, that actually, okay, but what is the Azumarill going to use? Okay, so it is going to kill Town Flame. That's nice. That's why I was like, I was hoping to do that. That way I wouldn't need to do so. So what's, what's Tanga sending? I think probably the best move now is, um, well, no, it kills Jackbox with Rock Slide. Sandman's honestly probably the best move. Young Shot may be able to kill Delta Metagross. Yeah, because here's the thing. Rock Slide kills Jackbox, but Sandman can... Oh, I guess, but Sandman no longer a Sap Sipper, so... I'd still like to... Uh, yeah, that kind of... Here's the thing. I think Jackbox is better. Reason being that Rock Slide splits damage, so we should be able to take it. And it's actually no longer rock type once it crystallizes because it becomes grass crystal. And also, as a result, it's mono grass effectively. So 
um, a fire punch should be able to. Yeah, I think I, was, I just yeah. If if what's it called? If Sandman had Sap Zipper, I'd send him in, but I just don't trust that wood hammer. And he sent out Gudra shoot. So yeah, Gudra can't even really touch Jackbox as well. So I think our best bet here is to try and kill that Metagross. Um, hopefully Azumarill uses Play Rough on the uh, Gudra. So, oh, uh, but yeah, the, again they outspeed due to Whirlwind or Tailwind. Yeah, but hopefully that that Metagross should die now to um, a uh, Fire Punch. And it they both attack the same one. Or did it miss? No, it didn't miss. So it actually legitimately attacked Jackbox. So yeah, now the Metagross is down. So yeah, I mean. That's actually, it's really nice that we killed that Delta Arcanine. And yeah, I think regardless, lean off with Demix is the best simply so that we kind of avoid the Intimidate, like Hydreigon. So Gale's on his second Pokemon though, which is, yeah, Zygon. Um, but yeah, they have Tailwind, so that's kind of obnoxious. So what do we, so yeah, the Z to be honest, what's, what's his Hydreigon going to do? His Hydreigon's probably going to try and kill the Zygarde. The Gudra may try and kill us. They're both a dragon. We can't, here's the thing, we can't really touch Gudra, but at least Drain Punch is super effective against the High Dragon. Yeah, and Zygarde actually still outsped. Wow. In Tailwind N, I guess Zygarde's just that fast. And it's nice that actually Zygarde did go for um, uh, Gudra because at least Drain Punch is super effective against the High Dragon. And now High Dragon only has special attack and move. So High Dragon's kind of useless now it has special attack so yeah it does have um protect though but yeah the hydrate another crit wow but yeah hydragon's basically useless so yeah so we actually got really lucky this battle because again we have um and its tailwind should be done so because yeah we ultimately had three crits on our team so far two from me one from gale so and he's on his last two already hydragon and mewtwo so mewtwo's experience pressure to be honest a dragon isn't really much of a threat given it's at half um, special attack, but to be fair though, Mewtwo, um, let's see, Mewtwo, it could probably kill Jackbox, but here's the thing. I think we go for, um, what is his uh, Sun Flora have? His Sun Flora has Hidden Power Ice. Maybe we try and get some damage on Mewtwo. I think we kill the Hydreigon. That's, that'd be the least greedy option. Then what if it becomes, then it will become a 1v1. So, and yeah, he's got the Sun Flora. Because even if he kills um, uh, the Sun Floor, and he may use a full restore on Hydreigon anyway. But yeah, we basically need to make this a 1v1 as quick as possible, like ASAP. Or we need to kill, because he's only on two. We base, let's see. Yeah, now it's at a plus 1.5. And yeah, he did use the full restore. So yeah, going for the Drain Punch, and it used Focus Blast on us. Are we going to survive? No, we aren't. So the sun, his Sun Floor is still around, though. So, and it used Sludge Bomb. It's poison too. So, that Hydreigon, let's see. Hydreigon, what's the Hydreigon gonna do? Um, I think I saved for Demon. I think I saved Demon for a 1v1 against Mewtwo. Um, with the least group, because here's the thing, right? I guess I'm not sure if Sandman's a good switch in at this point. He can't, the only thing he can. Mm, Honestly, but Salmon does have Drain Punch. I think our goal is to kill this Hydreigon, because I could use Cleaver and Ice Shark, but I think Sandman is still a good bet, so... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, so... Yeah, because here's the thing. I can't... My, I think my strategy to deal with the Mewtwo is... The only way I can do it is Shadow Sneaks on the part of Demon, and then Ice Shards on the part of Cleaver. Basically, uh, priority moves, given just the nature of it. So... Yeah, I guess I, I don't even think I can use Spicy Ice as of now, unless he uses like a full restore on Mewtwo or something. But so I get a free turn of attack. But yeah, I think Sandman is actually who I do now because I basically, because I think uh, a Drain Punch um, from Sandman along with poison damage should kill and life orb damage. I think a Drain Punch, even if Drain Punch doesn't kill, life orb and poison will. So, but he, I was going to say, oh my God, he predicted. But what's the Mewtwo? We serve. We both went after the Hydreigon. God damn it. So it actually predicted. But I don't think it's still low enough to where um, it will use a, um, a full restore. Maybe it is. 
Here's the thing, though. Mewtwo is probably going to kill us regardless, but it's not pertinent that Sandman survives. Just in case, let's say, Mewtwo goes after Sunfloor and he uses Full Restore and Hydreigon. I think, because I could try and predict and use a revive, but which of my Pokemon are dead, right? Like, who would I bring back? Demix and Jackbox? I wouldn't say neither, either of them are really that useful. So I think the least greedy option is to Drain Punch Hydreigon, because I could see it where Mewtwo tries to take out Sunfloor and uses Four Storm and Hydreigon. So he didn't. Okay. So, hold on. What's the Hydreigon going to do then? So is the Sunfloor dead? Because the Sunfloor is part fire. A crit? Okay, well, I guess that evens it out. What's, is the Sunfloor going to kill the Hydreigon, though? So it did. That's why it's like... So yeah, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to send in... Um, so yeah, here's what I do now. I guess... Because here's what I can do. I can, honestly, I could send in Spicy Ice to bait an attack from the Mewtwo. I can send in Spicy Ice to bait. And even if... Because here's the thing, right? This is actually really good. Because ultimately, the Mewtwo has to choose between either attacking us and Sunflora. So if it attacks the Sunflora, you know, it's going to take a Thunderbolt. So there's that. Um, and if it attacks us, the Sunflora is still alive. So it did attack the Sunflora. So now it's actually a 1v1. But we get an attack off on this Mewtwo. So yeah, there's Thunderbolt. OK, and he's probably going to use a four store. Uh, he did. So now we're just going to spam uh, Thunderbolt, basically. So yeah. I was kind of hoping to paralyze, but yeah. So now we die to a um, Fire Blast or a Focus Blast, or even a Psy Strike. So now we can actually um, use a Revive. So yeah, we have some damage off on it, which is nice. So yeah, we're definitely going to win this. So yeah, let's see. We can uh, Revive. Let's see. Yeah, let's Revive. Um, Sandman would probably be the best bet to be able to take an attack because Demix, well, Demix resists, to be fair, Demix resists all three. Demix resists all three. So honestly, he may be a better bet to deal with this Mewtwo. Um, Jackbox, no. And it, Jackbox would die to a Psy Strike. Sandman probably does as well. But Demix actually resists all three. So he may be a safe bet. Um, just, yeah, and it did, it did use Psy Strike. So. But I'm not going to send in Jackbox on low HP. So here's what we do now. Let's see. Damage my life orb. So here's what we do. Honestly... Yeah, send in Demon. We're going to get knocked him up. Going to Mega Evolve, knock him, Shadow Sneak. And honestly, I'm not sure it, that, along with Life Orb damage, may be enough to kill it. So, yeah, may be enough to kill it. And if not, we got an Ice Shark from Cleaver. And if somehow Cleaver misses, I go into um, Demix and use a Revive on Cleaver. So, yeah, we get knocked him up, and we get our Shadow Sneak off. So... Yeah, and it was a crit. Wow. So we actually got somewhat lucky this battle. So we actually got this battle done in one go. So yes, I <laughs> demon grew level. So I want to please, please tank some of the dragon. I want to see it so much. Like some of the original dragon, please. I want to see it so much. Like, no, impossible. Literally just say the name of the damn thing. Like, I want to see it. I want to see the original dragon. Summon it. That's annoying. Even my name, even my new crystal gimmick didn't work out. Just summon the damn thing. I went all the way to Kuria for that jump. I'm pretty sure. Is is that a Pokemon? Is that a non-mainline Pokemon game or is it a fan game? I don't even know. Please just summon the damn thing. I want to see it, please. It's fine. This changes nothing. Yeah, you were stalling me, right? Just please say the damn thing. Please summon it. I assume you have some backup plan. What were you stalling me for? You could say that. Perfect timing. It just got here. I don't care. Like, summon the damn thing. Get ready to hurt saying because you're about to see something amazing. Summon the damn thing. Come out. Let's show him what we're made of. And is he talking about Zygarde? Or like, because obviously the green slimes are part of Zygarde via power construct. He literally is summoning Zygarde. Tank. Oh my god. While freaking Zygarde's being summoned, Tank can literally just say Kiram in the original Dragon series. Like, literally just say that. I, I, please tell me he summons it. I want to see it. Like, I want to see a damn thing. If he actually doesn't summon it, it's game. Like, I'm going to be salty as hell. Like, I don't care about Zygarde. I want to see the original dragon. Okay, and? So, oh, it's Zygarde. You and me worried for a second. He's like, ooh, I thought I was actually, I thought there would actually be a threat. I was, I actually thought I was in danger. So Mewtwo just take care of Zygarde while he summons the thing. Zygarde doesn't have a chance against me. Not against the combined power of Mewtwo and my dragon. That's true. That's why I'm like, 
I, I said I think the old I even said Zygarde in its complete form can't stand up to Mewtwo in the original dragon, or even just the original original dragon on its own. I think the only legendaries that can stand up to it are Giratina and Arceus. To be fair, we do have Primal Giratina, but it's not in our party, so not bad. But your legendary can't save you now. Mine are far more powerful than yours. That's what Ruka realized, and you did. Wait, what? My, that's what Ruka realized, and you did it. Is he, is he trying to say that the original dragon can't be controlled? It's not about all being the strongest or the smartest. But I don't care. Like, I don't care. I want to see the damn dragon. Like, it's about teamwork. People in Pokemon working in harmony. Right, let me know how that works out for you. In the meantime, come forth, my beast. Kiram, the all-powerful original dragon. Emerge, show me your power. Please, please show me. I want to see the damn thing. Show me. Oh, my God. Look at that. Rainbow. That's it's a diamond. Oh my god. Thank god he actually saw it. If he did, I would have been salty as hell. I want to see this damn thing. Show me the dragon. Tane is literally now the strongest tra trainer in the entirety of, not Tori, but the entire world. Like, he is literally the strongest trainer of all time. Wait, what? I'm going to freaking, I'm quitting this game. I'm quitting this game. Like I said, it's all, I'm quitting this game. Like, Zygarde is just one Pokemon. It's a network. I'm, I literally don't care. We know this already. We've see, heard this description. Where did Kyurem go? Why is... Are you kidding me? Like, all working in harmony. If we don't get the chance to summon this thing, like, I'm quitting this game. And when all those cells decide to fight alongside each other, literally no one cares. Zygarde transforms to complete form. So what? Like, what about the original dragon? What the hell is up with that? We get to see Zygarde's complete form. A bit of an ironic name, isn't it? And... What about it? But my summoning, what happened? Yeah, I want to know. Zygarde is the guardian of the ecosystem. Its job is to stop huge nature destroying events. So how does it stop it, though? That's the question. Like, how did it stop? It was easy to stop your summoning. How? Zygarde's complete point is perfect. Now, how will it stop that? How does it stop that? You and your Pokemon so thoroughly, you'll never be able to try it again. How does it stop it, though? Here's the thing. I don't even think complete form Zygarde could be Kieran Black in Mewtwo. Especially if it's Shadow Mewtwo. Like, I don't think, I legitimately don't think Zygarde could beat that. Like, no. Zygarde, and this. What? Are you kidding me? The game, it, it didn't explain why his summoning didn't work. Like, why? How? That doesn't make sense. Like, the game literally just needed to force Tane to stop it. Like, literally just the game itself, like, the end to prevent Tane from doing it. Like, are you kidding me? I just, where'd Kyurem go? Are you kidding me? Zekrom, fight back. What is happening? Where's Kyurem? What are you doing? Oh, he's got killed. Freaking Zekrom didn't even go into Pokemon. Straight up died like Cresselia. What about a freaking Orion? Res Reshiram is like, he straight up got killed. Reshiram in front of Orion. He's like, uh, that's, that's a you problem, mate. Gail, that's my friend. Calls it. Yeah, freaking Orion's like, wait, what? It's too late. I'm sorry. This is really good of the reason. I was like, like he's straight up going to kill Reshiram. What is going on? Like, how it didn't still doesn't explain why the summoning failed, where Kyurem went, and now freaking Zygarde's gonna kill Reshiram. I don't think Zygarde complete could have taken out Kyurem Black and Mewtwo. Like, I'm being entirely honest. No, there has to be another way. That's why I'm like, can we just kill Gale right now? Like, he's literally preventing my favorite character from completing his uh, goals, and now he's straight up going to kill like Reshiram. He just straight up killed the entire Dao trio. Like, this guy, he's not an ally. He's an enemy. Like, he's a threat to us. Like, dude, we can just whip out Primal Giratina and stomp him. Please do something. I'm, I freaking kill Gale. I can't live without my friend. I'm literally going to kill Gale right now. Please do something. Yeah, free. Hold on. Freaking give me that. Damn it. What's the fun? Can I... Oh, shit. Are you kidding? I wanted to talk to them. Okay, that may seem like an illogical choice, but I actually wanted to speak to them to see what the, would happen, and because I clicked forward, I couldn't. I was, because I clicked on the Pokeball, I thought ultimately it would be something where he battled Gale, and I wanted to see, and that's why I was walking towards Zygarde and uh, Reshiram, because I wanted to see what they would do. I thought we would have to fight Gale to get him to stop. And I thought, you know, maybe uh, we convinced Tane, but I because I want to see what they would say. Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Now we have to do this fight again, but I think I'm not too concerned. I'm not too concerned about this fight. I guess this entire episode's dedicated to this, so it doesn't even matter. This entire part, so 
it doesn't matter if we take. I still, th I still think we can beat him. I think Demix first is the move. So, but it's the game. Like, there's no reason for him not to be able to summon the original dragon. It's literally just the game preventing him from doing so. I can't believe it. That, that goes to show the power of Tain. The game literally needs to intervene to prevent him from doing it. Like, yeah, congrats, Gale. You summon Zygarde complete. How does that intervene with the summoning? Like, that literally doesn't. That like doesn't make sense. Like, I don't know. I, I hate Gale so much. They're like the worst character. Like, I mean, not only did they stop Tain, but they're also we're literally going to kill Restoring. So we get to Vite Zygarde complete. Bitch, give me that. Like, it's like I am a master ball. I'm a catch that. Like, give me the fucking Zygarde complete. Like, give me that shit. Gale, not yours anymore. It's mine. An R1 for my collection. Oh my god. The fucking Gale. Oh, that's that's why he had the fucking uh, puppy form Zygarde. Because he, it wasn't complete yet. Bitch, I, I'm literally going to steal Zygarde from Gale. Like, I'm the least favorite character. Like, give me that. Like, you don't deserve it. Like, man's literally was, like, insulting the auger. Like, us. Tailwind. Okay, so this is going as normal. Um, I hope we can still win. I'm going to feel like an idiot if I lose this battle now. I'm going to feel like an idiot. An absolute idiot. But I, I thought we knew, I thought we just died to the freaking Zygarde. I literally thought we just died. It's like, okay, he's going to use the four store on Town Plane. I don't know why I still bother attacking the Arcanine. Yeah, so he did use the four store. Now the Arcanine's probably going to use him. Um, Dragon Claw. Did it? Yeah, we survived. Please crit again. No, it did. But he's going to use a four store on the Arcanine now. So, yeah, or well, now he has to choose. He has to choose. He could potentially use a four store on both. So yeah, let's use another. Um, let's use another or sphere on the Arcanine. So he you did use it on the Arcanine. Is he going to use it for both? Yeah, he used. So he's out of four stores now. He used all three of his four stores. So he's got no more four stores. That's actually good for us. Um, and it also what this does is it waits out his Tailwind. Cause yeah, ultimately the Talon Flame, the Talon Flame. Um, I don't think they can kill both of us. Yeah, let's use this. Because here's the thing. The Azumarill is going to kill the Talonflame, right? The Arcanine, he, he has to make a choice here on who to kill, basically. I don't think he can kill both of us. So, extreme speed. Yeah, so he killed us. And then, yeah. So, is that actually going to kill the Azumarill? Yeah, no, and it just dies. Shit. So, hopefully the Azumarill's attack defaults to the Arcanine. Oh, it did attack the Arcanine. So, oh my god, that's actually so good. And yeah, it's attack fell. So now it's only at um 1.5. So yeah, that's actually really nice. So this is actually perfect. Like, this is arguably even better than the previous one. So the Arcanine, we know he's going to send in Delta Metagross, I think. So I think Jackbox is still the best switch in here. Yeah, I think Jack, because we know he's going to send in the Delta Metagross. So Jackbox is still the best switch in here. I can't believe we're fighting him again. <laughs> okay, but yeah, here's the thing. That Arcanine dies. Um, here's the thing. I think we use Drain Punch and the Arcanine. Because they may, even though Tailwind ended, he may try and kill the Mewtwo. They're Azumarill. And if so, we need to kill this Arcanine. So, yeah, and it's going to crystallize, of course. So, he, if just, yeah, just in case, we need to get this Arcanine out of here. So, and again, he's out of four stores, so that Arcanine dies, so it did use Extreme Speed. So, yeah, it was good that we used Drain Punch on the Arcanine, so, and he used Wood Hammer. That's going to do absolutely nothing. So, yeah, that was literally, so good thing we had targeted the Arcanine. That's why it's like, get that thing out of here. We need to kill as many of his Pokemon. So, right now, he's currently two Pokemon down. We need to kill as many of his Pokemon as possible before Gale loses all his. So, yeah, it was definitely the good... It was a good move to you. So he probably used Wood Hammer on the Azumarill, but defaulted to a Jackbox. He sent out Hydreigon. So who's um, Sunflora? Sunflora may try and target the uh, Metagross, but I think, what does his Sunflora have? Yeah, the Sunflora may try and target the Metagross, but we can't really touch the Hydreigon. I think it's better to try and just kill that Metagross. And even then, it may outspeed and kill the Sunflora. So, yeah, that's Hard Dragon. Yeah. Jackbox, I don't think Jackbox dies in one hit to any of 
their his potential moves. So, yeah. I don't think Jackbox dies in one hit to any of his potential moves. So let's see what it uses. Yeah, it used Rock Slide. I don't think we die to that. Yeah, it's not Stab, and it hits both of us. So that's why it's like, unfortunately, it's also super effective. But let's see what the Hydreigon uses. And it missed. That's nice. I don't even know who he used it on. So it did use Sludge Bomb. So, yeah, and then we guarantee that the Metagross dies with this Fire Punch. So, yeah, because it's super effective. Yeah, so that's three down. So he just has his Gudra and Mewtwo left after this Hydreigon. So, yeah. So it was good that we used the Fire Punch on the uh, Metagross. So, yeah, let's see. And he's out of... um. Yeah, so, wow, this battle's going even better than the previous one, despite us being more lucky. So now we Drain Punch the Hydreigon, I think. Yeah, we can't really touch that Mewtwo, so. Yeah, and it actually kills us. Better that it targets us, though, than the Sun Flora. That's definitely the better alternative. But shoot, the Hydreigon may kill the Sun Flora. Yeah, it is. But here's the thing. Now the Hydreigon's on 50% uh, special attack. So the Hydreigon's, you know, arguably useless at this point, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's on 50% um, attack, so. Yeah, I think the next, we can probably bait out an attack using uh, Spicy Ice, honestly. That may not be that bad of an idea. Or maybe we just summon, send in Sandman to try and kill that Hydreigon. I think we try and, yeah, I think that's what we ultimately do here. Um, yeah, so I think we use the Sandman. But I guess, to, to be honest, his... His Zygarde's probably going to try and kill the um, Hydreigon. Like, I think his Zygarde's probably going to target the Hydreigon. So I think, honestly, if anything, it probably is a smart move to actually send out Spicy Ice to bait out an attack. So, yeah, because here's the thing. If Spicy Ice... Yeah, I think it's best to send out Spicy Ice to bait out an attack. This is, like, some weird meta strategy, but... Yeah, because... Or I guess, I don't know, maybe Sandman is... Because here's the thing, right? We used, obviously, we let off with Demix. Uh, Jackbox, we also used. Um, they, no, I think, honestly, we send in Sandman. Because I think it's there's a possibility that Hydreigon may survive. And also, it may just, because I don't think we can die from a single attack, but he may double attack Sandman. It ultimately, that says the guy Zygarde outspeed everything. So, yeah, I think we try and ensure that this Hydreigon dies. So it did use Die Strike on the Zygarde. So wow, he's already dead. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that's actually like bad. So maybe I should have used. Yeah, maybe I should have used. Um, is this the best move though? Because he still is Gutra. So here's the thing though. He's out of. Here's the thing. Let's put it this way. Oh, but we're gonna die though because ultimately we get outsped by both of them. So yeah, unfortunately we die here. So. Do we just lose? Because again, that's just kind of, you know, we may have just lost here because both of them are going to outspeed us. So, yeah, I think we bring back a Jackbox here because, yeah, we do lose here. So I think we do. Oh, he used, he used Protect. Side Strike may still kill us, though. We survived. I didn't think it used Protect, but now we definitely die. So. But yeah, that's why I'm like, now we definitely die. So is is the Hydreigon just going to spam protect? Let's use, um yeah, let's, that, Sandman dies here, unfortunately. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. He withdrew and he loses the, okay, yeah, so he did use. Yeah, I think so. What's, what's the good play here? What's a good play here? Because this is just, this is so unfortunate. Like, this is kind of unfortunate. Like, we may legitimately lose, have lost this battle because he still has three Pokemon, and it's a 2v1. Because now I need to think. I need to be able to take... What's what's Scooter speed? Yeah, shit. We... Oh, my God. Why is the computer lagging? Um, Yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to click find a pull up Gudra's page because that'll determine... Um, Okay, I don't know what's going on. The computers, okay, there we go. But yeah, it's just like, yeah, shit, we may have legit, I feel like such an idiot now. I feel like such an idiot. Because we, it has, yeah, it outspeeds us. It has a fuck ton of special defense, though, so Cleaver will probably need to kill. That's actually its biggest, uh, so yeah, Mewtwo, though, I mean, 
Because here's the thing, right? I could send endemics, but it dies to both of them. Or same with spicy ice. So yeah, I think we need. I think the best move here is demon knocked him, shadow sneak the Mewtwo. And even if it doesn't kill it, life orb damage should kill it as well. So, and I may use more advice, but we may have legitimately lost this battle. Oh my god. Because I do want to see what Tane, Damien, and Gale have to say before we um, uh, fight the Zygarde. So, yeah, I think this is the best move. I think we need to bank on this. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. God damn it. It's not enough. But at least he's out of full restores. But yeah, it's not enough. Here's the thing, though. Can an Ice Shard kill the Gudra? It doesn't have that much defense. I think there's a decent chance Ice Shard kills the Gudra. Yeah, I think there's a decent chance Ice Shard kills the Gudra. But the Mewtwo, honestly, maybe it's best to try and get the Gudra out of the way and let the Mewtwo die to Life Orb damage. I think there's some sense in that. And yeah, it does die. So I think there's some sense in that decision. Just let the Mewtwo die on its own. <laughs> Look at that XP. And yeah, use his Focus Blast. So yeah, that kills us. So now he's on to his, but unfortunately his Hydreigon his full attack again. So, but yeah, unfortunately, because I'll probably need, I'll probably end up reviving um, Demon. But yeah, because here's the thing, right? Dra Hydreigon... I think Demix has the best chance, given that he resists. But here's the thing, an attack from both Hydreigon and Mewtwo kills it. So, yeah, it, it doesn't matter what we do here. So that's just kind of the unfortunate reality. But Mewtwo dies to another Life Orb damage. So I guess it's good that we... Uh, but here's the thing, Mewtwo outspeeds Hydreigon. So Mewtwo's going to move first, and it's going to use, like, something to kill Demix, or even just damaging it. And because Mewtwo's faster than Hydreigon, Ultimately, because it's going to get an attack off, it'll die due to life form. So, but Demix dies regardless. So, unfortunately, what we do here, the move here is to revive Demon so that I can take advantage of a Noctum. And yeah, the Mewtwo dies, so it does outspeed. So we did tank a Psy Strike, but yeah, it's going to die. I hope the Hydreigon uses, does something dumb and uses Draco Meteor. Because it has both Dark Pulse. Wait, why did I bring back Demon? Wait, yeah, it's like, wait, why did I bring back Demon? Because it resists? I guess, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, it doesn't really matter, so... Yeah, because ultimately what I can do is I'll just... Yeah, just a Shadow Sneak, just to take advantage of um, Noctum being up. Let's see. Yeah, Shadow Sneak. Yeah, that, that was a crit. Yeah, that, I don't know why I brought Demon back. I should have brought Cleaver back, but why did... Okay, so now it's actually a 50% um, special attack. Yeah, it's at 50% special attack right now and life orb damage. So we may not even need to bring Cleaver back. Honestly, Spicy Ice may be able to tank a special attack from it. Like, I think there's a decent chance. I guess here's the thing, though. It dies due to life orb anyway in two turns. And it may protect, so I think the best move is to actually uh, revive. Yeah, because it may protect. Well, I guess that would just kind of stall. So I think Spicy Ice can tank an attack, given it's on half attack or half special attack. I think it can tank an attack. Well, I guess Dark Pulse. Would the safe bet be to revive? I've only got two left, or should I just try and kill it with Moonblast? Moonblast definitely kills it. Yeah, I think we tank an attack. I think we tank an attack with it being on 50%. Um, yeah, but I, I am I am thinking this is the less greedy option. I don't even know why I brought back Demon. Just, I guess, because Noctum was up. But yeah, I think that's the least greedy option. It did use Protect, so... Is it just going to spam Protect now? I'm going to bring back, you know... Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing back... Uh, yeah, because, well, I don't think Cleaver would survive, so there's no real point. Um, I guess this, I just need Cleaver to be alive. Because, yeah, I think Spicy Ice, because I was worried about Dark Pulse potentially killing us with Knocked Him Up, but now that's gone, its best move is, yeah, let's just, it did use Protect, but yeah, now it's actually, yeah, because he knows, 
he may die from a life orb on that HP, but yeah, so yeah, fire blast. Wow, and it actually missed. So yeah, so this battle's over now, because yeah, I wanted to talk to everyone. So I didn't know the freaking Vagard would really attack us. So yeah, there's that. Honestly, at least in the beginning, it went worse or it went better than the previous one. But by the end, yeah, that's the issue. Gale's Pokemon died, like dying. So yeah, Gale's Pokemon dying. So that's like, I mean, like yeah, Gale's Pokemon dying just makes the battle infinitely harder because it becomes a two v one. So oh my god, I, god damn it! So he actually isn't able to summon the original dragon. I got so excited. I'm salty as hell that he wasn't able to summon the original dragon. Like, are you kidding me? You can't tease that and then not fall through. Like, it's hilarious. Like again, Tate's my favorite character. The game literally needed to prevent him from summoning the original dragon because literally zero explanation why somehow Pokemon got Zygarde to be able to stop that. That's like, are you joking? And there's a uh, Zygarde. It's not even in its complete form. It's like, Tane's like, oh, it's Zygarde. You gotta be worried for a second. Like, it would actually be a threat. Like, Zygarde doesn't stand a chance against me. Not against the combined power of Mewtwo and the, my dragon. Yeah, that's why it's like, Zygarde really doesn't. I, I don't even think it would stand a chance against Kieran Black and Mewtwo. Not bad, but I can't can save My far power more powerful than yours. That's what Ruka realized, and you didn't. It's not all about being the strongest or the smartest. It's about teamwork. People in Pokemon work in harmony. Because Rukra did. He was like, it's not about a single powerful Pokemon. It's about a team of powerful Pokemon, right? Like a team of six, right? Let me know how it works out for you. To be fair, Rukra still used legendaries, but he realized it's more about the team. So, Kiram, the all-powerful original dragon emerged. Show me your power. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Like, I hate that the game did that. Like, the game literally needed to prevent Tane from summoning it. And it's Kyurem's cry. So, and look at that. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. Those are, Z that's Zygarde's, like, that's Zygarde. So, or that's um Zygarde's sort of uh, colors. So, Zygarde happened. But again, it doesn't, that just, he, this doesn't answer the question of why it didn't work. Like, that doesn't answer the question. Like, just, yeah. That, that's why, like, he says that. And it's like, uh, no one cares about complete Zygarde. What happened with the summoning? Like, that doesn't answer that question. Like, but here's the thing. That's, Zygarde doesn't beat, Zygarde doesn't beat freaking, I don't think Zygarde beats Kira Black and Mewtwo, especially Shadow Mewtwo. Like, and oh my god, freaking Gale was about to take out freaking Reshiram too. Like literally, Zekrom, Zekrom literally just died. Zekrom just died. Like Zekrom's dead. Gale, and then freaking Orion's, oh my god. Gale, I, god, I hate Gale so much. Like he's easily the worst character. Like Gale, get out of here. Like I'm going to freaking kill Gale. Yeah, hold on. So great. Now we're back here. I'm going to save a uh, quick save. Hold on. What's my team looking like? Uh, all healed up, actually. I was worried I would need to use a Master Ball on that thing. So Zygarde, Zygarde complete. Hold on. Let me look at, um, so where is the, uh, we are at, um, Dragon Ruins. So, shoot, yeah, Dragon Ruins. Um, can we see the Zygarde? Hold on. No, I can't see it. I can't see it. So, but yeah, we know what type it is. Um, so there's that. Uh, yeah, I guess that's good enough. Um, so yeah, let's see. Who should we lead off with? Spicy Ice probably. I don't, well, shoot, no, an Ice Beam would probably kill. A Moon Blast wouldn't, though. So yeah, there's that. And I'm not sure if it's more special attack than physical attack. So yeah, it's good that, so we don't need to even need to use our Master Ball, given our team's healed up. So Because if our team was like not healed up and we had one half HP Pokemon, I'm throwing the Master Ball. Oh, shoot, we can't even talk to these I'm such an idiot. I freaking restart that for nothing. I'm not able to talk to these people. So yeah, we need to freaking walk in front of them. Oh my god. I I, I restarted this for nothing. Because I wanted to talk to I feel like such an idiot. Because I legitimately wanted to talk with them and see what they'd say. So uh we tanking this Zygarde attack. Like we're just built different. We we're wearing armor, which is by survive. Zygarde complete. I probably should have let off with spicy ice because I actually have a quick ball. I'll feel stupid as fuck if this quick ball works. <laughs> like, 
Oh my god, yeah. Quick ball, give me that. Fuck, fuck, Gale. Give me your Pokemon. Okay, that's in for. What does it have? Dragon Pulse? Yeah, that... If it used, like, Earthquake or something. But yeah, so Ice Beam could... Will Ice Beam kill? It'll either... I don't think it will. Okay. G good thing I um, saved beforehand. So yeah, Ice Beam will kill it. Uh, yeah, damn, Spicy Ice is a beast. Well, I guess it is, like, 10 levels, 15 levels below us, so... Wait, shoot, what if I'm not supposed to be able to save there? I'm like, wait, did I? I may have broken the game. Like, I guess we'll see. Uh, I can. So, yeah, we tank in this Zygarde attack. We literally just stood from it. It's like, nah, we're built different. We are wearing, we're legitimately wearing armor, though. So, it's going to be like freaking Lysander. He literally just gets banished. Okay, so hold on. I'll try the quick ball again. But, yeah, at least I now know um, uh, what's it called. Uh, Ice Beam one shots it, so I was hoping it survived with like a little HP, and that would make it quick and easy. So there's that. Okay, yeah, one shake as per usual. Outrage. So it is outrage. It's actually gonna be confused after this, though. Unfortunately, Spicy Ice dies here, so I may as well just use another. Um, should I use my four stores? Sure, I'll just use my four stores on um Spicy Ice until it gets uh con used so yeah let's do that outrage yeah let's see yeah let's use our last four store and it should be confused after this so yeah there's a potential it'll hurt itself but we gotta be careful though so yeah we gotta be careful i guess we can also scout out its other attacks so yeah so now so we know ice beam kills it i was hoping it wouldn't but yeah, moon blast. We outspeed that thing. Wow, that actually deals a decent amount. It it is hurting itself, which is nice. Let's use um, what's it called? Let's use uh, let's use a uh, flash cannon here, just to just to get it down some more. Moon blast would kill it, given it's hurt itself. But yeah, let's just get it down some more. So yeah, please hit itself. That actually got down the red. It did nice. So now I don't want it to hit itself anymore though. So. Yeah, now that's in red, that's like perfect. Uh fuck Gale, I'm taking his I'm taking his uh I'm taking his um Zygarde. So we got Shiny Ball, Delta Ball, no Shin Ball. It works well in legendary. Maybe that. Maybe it's probably better than just spamming Ultra Balls. I'll save my Master Ball though, but can you buy ancient balls? I don't know. Probably better just use Master Balls. I'd use an ancient ball if it like had a healing move, but I don't think Zygarde is a healing move. So Wow, that actually worked. Fuck you, Gale. I'm taking your Pokemon. We're doing, we're we're team we're team Rocket. Oh my god! Except on a much grandiose or much grander grandiose scale. Yeah, give me that Zygarde. Um, nope, it's mine now. Stormbox one. Yeah, it's mine now. It's not yours. Did you just catch Zygarde? Yeah. Raven, I mean, you are unbelievable. Uh, that's a you problem, mate. Like. I literally hate you. You're my least favorite character. You literally tried to freaking you a you actually did kill Zekrom. Like he literally just killed Zekrom. Like Cresselia died by Persephone, uh, just stomping on his Pokeball. And Gale literally just killed Zekrom now. And he was about to kill Restaurant, which is a Ryan's Pokemon. Gale up in here talking about like, oh, I'm fighting for the little man. It's like we already had Primal Garatina. That makes Gale our enemy. Like I mean. Freaking, and he freaking, oh, he stopped Tame from summoning the original dragon. And now Tame literally can't, because Zekrom's dead. So, like, are you kidding me? I didn't even think that was possible. It's one of the strongest Pokemon of all time. And we're the strongest trainer of all time. I guess my role in this mess with that Blackhead's over. It's like, literally leave. You have no reason being here. Just leave. Bye. See you. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that, Orion. You're an idiot. He won. He's sorry now that he's not powerful. Reshiram, freaking kill his ass. Like, I didn't know Zygarde could be stopped once it got going. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. But he's saying sorry now just because he's powerless. Like, Orion should freaking just literally kill him with Rush Ram right now. I'm just glad Rush Ram's okay. Like, he'd do it again if Zygarde was here. Like, I'll scram then. I don't want to be here when Dingus head gets off shot. Literally leave. Get out of here. No one wants you here. Hey, he literally just killed Zekrom. Zekrom's dead. So the original dragon can't be summoned. Are you kidding? 
Like, are you kidding? Like, are you serious? So now we can't even summon it because Zekrom's dead. Side. Like, Tane's literally like, he literally just killed Zekrom. I'm not dealing with you anymore. Because here's the thing. Tane can't even summon the original dragon anymore because Zekrom's literally dead. You're far too much of a pest. I don't think I've had a single idea that your stupid hero complex couldn't insert itself in. I wanted him to succeed. I wanted him to summon the original dragon. Freaking out, Gale got in the way. I'm still determined to find perfection, but on my own. Not with bratty upstarts like you around. Well, not on my own exactly. Some group in the Kuria region seems interested in my work. The Kuria region. Hold on, let me look at um. Hold on, let me look at this. Okay, because I, I need to look at this. Okay, because this will make sense. Okay, 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 I see. Crystal Pokemon are from the Kuria region. The Kuria region is from Pokemon Azurite, which is a game in development. So that's what's from. That's why I was like, because I knew Tane actually makes an appearance in Pokemon Azurite. Because, well, actually, the game isn't even out, but I know Tane, like Tane, he was planned to make an appearance there. Or he, once it releases, or at least he's going, he is legitimately going to make an appearance there once the game comes out. So that's what the crystal Pokemon are from. Are from Pokemon Azurite, or from the Curia region, which is literally Pokemon Azurite, which is where he's going to now. So Tane survives Insurgents. That's that's good. I thought he was legitimately going to die or when we originally fought him with Nora. And that ultimately, um, when he lost the original dragon. So he survives this game, and now he's moving to the Curio region, which is in Pokemon Azurite. Again, a fan game. Again, not out yet, still in development. But he is going to make an appearance once it does come out. So I'm planning on meeting up with them. Korea is very, very far away from Torn before you ask. Don't follow me. You won't be able to. Because, again, there's no reason. Obviously, Rukra still has reason to be here. He said he still has a reason to be here. But Tain, freaking Zekrom literally died. Like, he can't summon the original dragon anymore. I'm done dealing with Kiss forever. He's like, see ya. In before he, in before we become the MC Kuria in freaking Pokemon Azure, right? And it's like, ah. We're, we're going to mess up his plans once again. Raven, I... I'm, fancy and, uh, I'm facing a tough decision here. I'm not strong enough yet. No matter what I do, when I screw up, Rush Ram always gets punished for it. Can't let that keep happening to my friend. Not until I become stronger. Listen, I'd like to leave Rush Ram with you in its stone form. Hopefully one day I'll be able to come back for them. I'm stronger. I'll keep Rush Ram in its stone form for Orion. He's like the one person who's actually like, Gale was literally about to, if I see Gale, we're kicking his ass. It's on site. Let's see. Anyway. Thank you for everything. It's literally the white stone. Please treat Reshiram nicely. Where's Orion go? Where's what about the Pokeball? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Tane's having one last conversation with Rukra. Because again, we know they last saw each other when um they last saw each other when we fought them in perfection base, when they summoned Mewtwo. And ultimately we know they've uh, parted ways ever since then. They've split paths, but now he's coming back since he does plan on leaving for Kuria in Pokemon Azurite. And now, oh my god, I'll play that game when it comes out, definitely. But um, I guess I'll probably even Nuzlocke it too, as opposed to just do it like I did with this. But yeah, so now he's, um, yeah, he's saying his last words, his parting words to Rukra. They're having one last conversation. Good riddance. You were always letting me down anyways. And freaking Rukro roasts him. Because that was the last thing he did when we saw them together. And now he's doing it again. I thought Rukro said he would leave Perfection Base. I thought Rukro said he was going to leave Perfection Base. I don't know. I guess he did. He. I guess they probably met here just to say their goodbyes. I'm moving to the Korea region. I left off my work and research in the back of Tribe. Our group is all but gone. I'm joining Team Vitreous. And that's the team from... Um, that's the team in Curia, in Pokemon Azurite, once it comes out. You can see the OSTs on YouTube. They might actually have a chance. It was literally just them two in Perfection Cult. And, you know, but here's the thing. Even though it was them two, they were the two literal strongest trainers in the region. So just because it was only two doesn't mean it was a weak team by far. Who the hell is that? Tane, let's go. I assume that's someone who will make a cameo in the Curia region and in Pokemon Azurite. But I'm like, who the hell is that? Like, get out of here. Coming, Almond. 
His name's literally Almond. Like, get out of here. I won't give you this. I won't need it. Give him what? What it was? Mewtwo? I assume it's Mewtwo. Like, I assume it's Mewtwo. I guess he took the Pokeball before he left. I found it somewhere in no man's land. It's all, it's what I used to bring out the original dragon. And that's actually the crystal or whatever, or whatever instrument, you know, because the crystal may have just been, no, actually, yeah, that is right. Because I thought whatever he took from um, Curia or whatever he took from Alpha Temple played double duty and was also the crystal that powered up his Delta Metagross. But no, that was from the Curia region. That's what he found from there. And where now he's going to, again, for Pokemon Azerite. But ultimately, um, um, this the thing he took from Alpha Temple is legitimately different. And it literally legitimately just is an instrument as a power source. And since he no longer has a need for it, he's giving it to Rukra. To be honest, if I retain, I'd keep it. It'd probably end up useful in the Courier region and in Pokemon Answer, I thought. Still. It's some kind of artifact. Looks like an ancient instrument of some kind. But that actually proves Rukra wrong. That ultimately, Tain would have been able to summon the original dragon and that it wasn't a lost cause. Well, now it is because Zekrom's literally dead. But I think it's a flute. Seems to be some sort of blue. Is that used for Latios? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I wouldn't even know the name of it, but because he told us it is an instrument. Now we know it's a blue flute. That is what's used to summon Latios, isn't it? That is for Latios, right? I don't know. But yeah, I, I wouldn't keep it for our team. But yeah, that ultimately shows Ruka, you know, the plan wasn't, um, what's it called? That the plan wasn't lost, that he could have legitimately still summoned it. But why? This is, this must be, what? what is it? Never mind. I'm sure I'll find a use for it. Bruh, I mean, come on. He's literally leaving forever. At least tell him what it is. Like, get out of here. If you're not part of perfection, you're not welcome anymore. Damn, Rukra just... Rukra, oh my god, just stone cold. He doesn't even tell Tain what it's for. He clearly recognizes what it is and what it's for, but... Fine, let's go Almond. Lead the way. Man's literally named Almond. To the Curio region we go. I want to see... If, wait, what? We can get both? Okay, so Zekrom didn't die. It just reverted. Can we summon the original dragon? We have literally the crystal pieces. So we have the power sources to do it. But let me just pick up both of them. The Dark Stone, last one this on the ground. Give me that. Wait, so hold on. That's <laughs> we don't even need to freaking summon it. it. They just go straight to the PC. Okay. So wow, Tane's done. He's moving. He get my fat. Now I have to play Pokemon Azerite, given he's gonna be there. Now I have to play Pokemon Azerite. Are you kidding me? I completely forgot that shit. Gail, you freaking loser. Get out of here. No one wants you here. Like, leave. Like, this man, I, I literally just stole his Pokemon. Like, he actually, like, get out of here. Like, leave. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I'm not giving that shit back. So I kind of forgot to give you something important. Something that you've probably been waiting to get your hands on for over a year. I mean, what? It'll be useful for unleashing the full potential of Zygarde. Is, oh, it's like the Zygarde cores or whatever, right? Yeah, Zygarde cube, which holds all the Zygarde cores in pieces, right? Let's see, weird name, right? Strangest cube I've ever seen. That's theirs an artifact that was first discovered in Kalos and later researched in the Alola region. She used to store the fragments of Zygarde, which are categorized as cells or cores. You're going to want to store as much of them in the Zygarde cube as possible. If you ever want to bring out that Megazord looking form <laughs> that you faced off against earlier. So is it not already in there? Are they not already in there? I'd really like to be able to just use this big boss form whenever you'd like, huh? Yeah, I know that feeling. But unfortunately, Zygarde was in its complete form all the time while traveling around with you. Then it wouldn't be able to act as the one who nullifies threats to the world's ecosystems. I don't care. I literally don't care. I'm going to use it. See, while Zygarde's having fun adventuring with you, and our fragment of itself is on neighboring watch duty all times back in some boring old cave in the Kalos region. Okay, that fragment is the one that decides how much of itself it needs to gather at once in order to deal with threats like that blockhead time. Don't care. So while Zygarde definitely doesn't mind lending you its full strength every once in a while, can't really just go around leaving the ecosystem unprotected. Don't care. Like, and so that brings us to the purpose of those cute little slime bites that were all over the place during Operation Z. At all times, Zygarde keeps track of things that are happening by splitting itself into those cells and scattering them all over the world. Don't ask me how many of them there are, because even if I knew we're all of them more. There's no way I'd be able to count up all the little careers myself. I'll do it. I don't care. But on that note, since this region has finally seen the first real peace since well before I was even born, I'd reckon that there's less of a need for Zygarde to spread itself out within the areas they are watching over. So there really shouldn't be any harm in scooping up some Zygarde cells while you're running around if you want to reconfigure the fragments of Zygarde that's in your possession. 
I'm going to get all of them off screen. If you want Zygarde, learn any moves that it doesn't normally get by level up, then keep your eyes open for Zygarde cores, which you can identify by the pinkish glow that they give off while they're off wiggling around. Besides those five cores, you also need 45 cells. I'm pretty sure in some moves, 100, but to, to give your Zygarde fragment, the ability to call upon cells for assistance when it's weakened. You should all show them cells if you have both the Zygarde cube and Zygarde self on your side. So I need Zygarde in my fight. This region doesn't have anything resembling or reassembling it, just staying around. So you'll need to seek out Zygarde's made fragment if you want to do any kind of reconfiguration. I don't really know how or when you'd manage to travel over to the Kalos region. I bet to do that, though, knowing how awesome your family is. Oh, your family is. I just kind of assumed that you'd have a way to do it. And that's um, in our family being, he knows we're the daughter of Anna. But if anything, that gives us a clue that it's probably in his secret base. Like, it's probably in Adam's secret base. And actually, I think that's it. Boy, that's a lot taken all at once. Yeah, it's like, yeah, quit monologuing. I literally don't care. I'm going to assemble it. I don't care. I'm not sure if we'll meet again after this. Zygarde may have lent a fragment of itself to you, but my relationship with it hasn't changed both of it. And it's literally ours. I just wanted to make sure that you weren't left in the dark about all this before I headed off to help other regions that are in trouble. Oh, and of course, I want to wish you good luck. And once again, thank you for helping out with the near Armageddon that Bonehead almost unleashed. I bitch, I wanted to see it. Why are you thinking me? I think this region should be peaceful again for a long time. You still have your work cut out for you as Augur. Later, thanks for everything. Um, don't care. Okay, I literally wanted to see it. I would have rather tamed summon it than not. And then this freaking idiot, at least he's gone forever and we won't need to see him. Like, yeah, I won't need to see him. So, yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, won't need to see him again. So Tane's gone to the Korea region in Pokemon Azurite, which we'll play when it comes out, or I assume I'll play it. But um, yeah, so he's gone, gone, gone. Like, he's done, he's gone. He's left this game, right? Like, again, Audrey's dead, Zena's dead. Uh, Yairn's just MIA. Rukra, we know he's still up to something. With the blue flute. With the blue flute, um, you know, he's presumably going to use that for something. Uh, I think our bets to check are perfection based and the abandoned laboratory upstream Mechi Town. But again, we'll see. I actually want to go to the PMC and I can't use fly here. That's such ass. Oh, shoot. I still have a, um, a repel, do I? So that's actually good. Okay, that's the wrong way. Um, let's do that. Yeah, and I mean, so there's that. Okay, that's wrong. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess I can't wait to play Pokemon Azerite. So it is a closer relationship to this game than one might think, especially because Tane's literally making an appearance. Because we know, um, who is it? Um, uh, Suzerain, who is literally the creator of their game, mentioned his previous game, or his character, technically, because it's not technically him, it's his character, mentioned the previous game, um, or mentioned, not previous game, I'm not even sure if it's previous, but he mentioned in our game, Pokemon Zeta and Omnicron. So there's that. That's a thing. Um, yeah, so this, wow, this game actually has a lot of ties, and that's really nice. As you know, there's ties to the freaking um, Aroma region. There's ties to, there's ties to a ton of shit in this game. Like, literally, I wonder if we're going to get, like, an emergency as soon as we step out. Give me that. Um, yeah, let's fight a guy town. Um, I assume my best, my best bet would be to go to, um, and check out um let's see i think again per just perfect oh i shouldn't have done that because i was gonna say there may be another emergency and mine are even fully healed too i don't know why i did that i just don't learn my lesson restore your pokemon to fall off okay so there is none did i gain any items i don't think so or i gained the um uh hold on i gained the um zygarde cube obviously but i didn't gain any uh new items so I still have, uh, let's see, contents. Okay, and in sequence. Thanks. So I have to see, uh, yeah, I want to see the uh, Pokemon in the PC. So freaking, that's absolute. Oh, we just literally freaking got Zygarde. Oh my God. And they're all in here. Level 50. So yeah, we have literally all of them. Zygarde's level 90. Let's put these in the legendary box. Let's see. There's that. Oh my God. So... What about Kiram though? Because here's the thing, right? Tane still is Kiram. Either that or he lost it. But either Tane still has Kiram or he lost it. But 
you know, if he still has it, then I guess we won't be able to summon the original dragon because we can't get Kurum. But I mean, you know, if we do, we could actually potentially summon the original dragon, right? Like that is definitely uh, potentially a thing. Like, there we go. I want to see, um, so Zekrom's look, oh my god, has power construct adamant. Hold on, is Zygarde an attacker? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. I want to I wanna look, check out Zygarde, hold on. Because we may have legitimately gotten the best ability on Zygarde. Is Zygarde an attacker? Oh my god, it is an attacker. Or wait, what? 50%, hold on. Yeah, Zygarde is an attacker. Oh my god. So, yeah, Zygarde is an attacker. So that's actually good. Yeah, we legitimately just got the best ability on this thing. Like, we legitimately got the best ability on this thing that we could have. Oh my god, that's amazing. Well, for whatever reason, it does have Dragon Pulse, though, so just do that. Let's see, um, let's see freaking Zekrom and Reshiram. Yeah, so we actually got Adamant Timid. I guess that's all right. Uh, kind of obnoxious, but yeah. And these are the same abilities it has when you get it in, um, uh, what's it called? Black and white, so yeah. Hold on, what about a... I think we just got the best ability on Reshiram, too. <laughs> I mean, um, I think we literally got the best ability on Reshiram. Are, are you kidding? Like, are you kidding? It is, oh my god. We literally got the best ability on Reshiram we could possibly get. Like, what is this? I don't know. What about the Eevees? Okay, Zygarde's Eevees are all right. 31, or Ivies, 31 speed Ivies, wow. Zekrom's Ivies are ass. Reshiram's Ivies, uh, they're slightly better. But I mean, freaking, yeah, wow, I mean. So, we literally got the best nature, though, on Zygarde and Reshiram. So, yeah. Damn. Yeah, so, and then these, these movesets, look how similar they are. So, yeah, I'm not using legendaries, though, so. Oh, yeah, here's my new. I have it with all the good moves. And then there is freaking Garatina, so. Oh, my God. And we literally have the crystals. So we can literally summon the original dragon if we want to, or at least so long as we get him, cure him. Um, I'm not sure how that will happen. Tain, if Tain still has it, then cure him's gone. So uh, we won't be able to summon it then. But if he doesn't, and let's say he gave it to Rukra along with the flute or whatever, um, yeah, we'll see. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to end it here. That was eventful. So wow. Obviously, I assume we're dealing with Rukra now, but we're done with Tain. So. There's that, but so Rukra is ultimately the last uh, one to deal with. And there's still some unknown backstory between him and Sylvan and ultimately who he used to be and what life he used to live. And I'm hoping we learn about that too, but yeah, I'm going to end it here. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.